Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to PE with Miss McGill. Now, this doesn't exactly look like me, but it'll do for now. Now, I've decided to call you guys exercisers because, let's face it, when you're with me, you are exercisers. You're exercising your body and your mind. So please join me again this week by yourself, with a brother or sister, with anybody in your family, or possibly a friend in your home, even grandpa. Let's take a look at what we did last week for PE. But first, we need to find last week. Found it! Yes, you last week. Last week, we counted out one serving of Takis. When we checked the nutrition facts, it read that one serving had 140 calories. So we counted out 12 pieces for one serving, and that equaled 140 calories. We learned that there was definitely more than one serving in this bag, and definitely more than 140 calories in this bag. Yeah, it's time for a BPM break with BPM Girl. It's time to check our beats per minute. Six, ten be six, ten be ten be ten be six, ten be six, ten be six, ten be ten be ten be six, ten. Beats times six. Find your pulse, count your beats, go. Stop, take that number, and multiply it by six. Again, that's the number of beats you just counted times six. If you need more time for your multiplication, pause the video now. What was your BPM? Let's get back to the video. It's time to exercise our brain. This week, we're going to learn about how many calories you should be eating per day. According to VeryWellFamily.com, if you are 6, 7, or 8 years old, you need to have 1,600 calories in one day. If you are 9 or 10, you need 1,000 800 calories every day. If you are 11, 12, or 13 years old, you need 2,200 calories per day. Question. How many calories per day does an 8-year-old need? The correct answer is 1,600. <laughs> Wait, we could have been sitting that whole time until now? It's okay if we were sitting as long as we stand, stand up now? Is that what that means? Is that what you're saying? Yep, that's exactly what I mean. It's time to stand up and it's okay if you were sitting before now. Today we're going to warm up our engines with fast feet. For this warm up, you'll need to find something that can create a straight line on the ground. Mirror me. We're going to take our steps. We're going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Continue. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Continue.
one, two, three, one, two, three. and a two foot hop. One, two, one, two, one, two, continue. stretches. Feel free to sing along with some original Miss Miguel songs during the stretches. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body my trunk, my leg, and my arms. Biceps, triceps, hamstrings, quads, abs and obliques aren't too far. Latissimus dorsi, also called lats, deltoids, pectorals, and my calves. These are the muscles in my body. Parts, my trunk, my leg, Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Stay standing. I'm kneeling so that you can see my arms during the entire stretch. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Lift with your legs, lift with your legs, lift. Oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles, oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles. Oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles, oxygen heart lungs. Blood and muscles, blood and muscles. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beats times six. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six. Ten beats times six. Ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat six, ten beat, ten beat, ten beat six. More vigorous, more oxygen. More oxygen, more beats. More beats, more blood. More power to your muscles.
PPCT. This stands for planks, push-ups, curl-ups, and trunk lift. Emma is going to squat down and crawl forward and show you half plank position. You may also use full plank position if you choose. What is your plank goal? Would you like to plank for 25 seconds, 30 seconds, or would you like to try to go for the whole 60 seconds? Make sure each day your goal is at least the same as yesterday or one second more. Exercisers ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Great job. Next up, push-ups. The next time you get to do push-ups with me, you'll get to use this awesome push-up tester. But since you don't have one of these available to you, you can use a shoebox. Now I'm gonna need some help to show you guys where exactly the shoebox should touch you when you go down for your push-up. No recording beats per minute right now, BPM girl. Yes, we need your help with push-ups. This area below your neck is where your box should touch your body when you go down for your push-ups. Let's get in position. First, bend your knees and squat down. Crawl forward and get on your tiptoes. Remember, no booty mountain and no booty valley now let's talk about tus manos your hands they need to be pointed forwards they cannot be turned inwards and they cannot be turned outwards they must be turned forwards can't forget our elbows 90 degree angle. When you go down to touch your chest to the box, try to get your elbow as close to a 90 degree angle as possible. If you are still having difficulty with push-ups, you can change over to modified push-ups. Modified push-ups are a way to train for push-ups by taking some of the weight off of your upper body. The difference between modified push-ups and push-ups is that your knees are touching the ground. Okay, exercisers, it's goal time again. What is your push-up goal for today? Are you going to try to do two, four? Are you gonna to try to go all the way to 10? Whatever your goal is, make sure it's either the same as yesterday or at least one more. We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Up. Nine. Down. Up. Ten. What is your curl-up goal, exercisers? Is it one? Is it six? Or maybe you're trying to go all the way to 12 today. Make sure your goal today is either the same as yesterday or one more than yesterday at the very least. If you do need someone to hold your feet down, that's okay if your curl-ups are looking like this. 
remember, feet flat, hands flat, knees to the sky. Make sure your hands are sliding forward across the ground with each curl up. If you need someone to hold your feet, here are a few different ways they can do that. And if there's no one available to help you, remember you can always put something heavy on your feet or put your feet underneath a chair or couch. We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready? Begin. Up. Down. One. Up. Down. Two. Up. Down. Three. Up. Down. Four. Up. Down. Five. Up. Down. Six. Up. Down. Seven. Up. Down. Eight. Up. Down. Nine. Up. Down. Ten. Up. Down. Eleven. Up. Down. Twelve. And now we're moving on to trunk lifts. You're going to lay down on your stomach. You're going to make sure your palms are facing up. And you're going to lift up, bringing your chin up as far as you can. Let's do five trunk lifts together. Up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Water, 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 break. Hey, boys and girls, this week I'm going to teach you how to do a burpee. That's not, that's not where I wanted it to go at, that we talked about this. Okay. Um, it, uh, um, just edit that out later. Um, future Miss Miguel when you're editing. <clears throat> just make sure I don't, make sure I remember to take that part out. Burpees. Hmm. <laughs> Many different people do burpees in many different ways. And today I'm going to teach you the most basic way to do a burpee. And here is a basic burpee. Before we get right to the basic burpee, I have some warm up and practice moves I would like you to do first. Follow me. Squat, step, step, plank, step step stand squat step step plank 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 step step stand squat Step, step, plank, step, step, stand. Now our final practice burpee before we get to the actual basic burpee. Squat, hop, step, step, up. 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 It is basic burpee time, party people. Let's give it a try. Jump, squat, hop, hop, jump. 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 Oh yeah, it's time for a BPM break with BPM Girl. It's time to check our beats per minute. Six, ten be six, ten be ten be ten be six, ten be six, ten be six, ten be ten be ten be six, ten beats times six. Find your pulse, count your beats, go.
Stop. Take that number and multiply it by 6. Again, that's the number of beats you just counted times 6. If you need more time for your multiplication, pause the video now. What was your BPM? Let's get back to the video. Bye! Wait, is your heart beating faster now? Why do you think that is? We have to warm up our bodies and we have to cool them down to prevent injury. During cool down number one, we wanna make sure that our shoulders are back and that they're above our hips and that our ears are above our shoulders so we're not leaning forward. Place one hand on your chest and one on your abdomen. Take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Focus on nothing else but your breathing right now. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Now keep breathing at your own pace. Breathe in, chest in. Breathe out, abdomen out. Breathe in, chest in. Breathe out, abdomen out. Have both of your hands switch places. And one last deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now arm raises in and out. You may go at your own pace. Next, spread your feet apart and put your hands over the center of your chest. Take a deep breath in and twist to the side. Deep breath out and come back to the center of your chest. Switch hands, deep breath in, out. Switch hands, deep breath in and out. Back to the center and switch hands. Continue at your own pace. While you're breathing, remember to take care of yourself. Remember that you are important. Remember to always look in your mirror and not out your window. stance you can point your toes out next you can put your palms together or you can put your hands together any way that feels comfortable you're going to bring your elbows back and forward opening up your chest and closing it back up again breathing in through your nose 
and out through your mouth. You can bring your head into it if you'd like. Breathe in, head up. Breathe out all the way down. Continue at your own pace. Question. What are three things that you like about yourself? One last time, in through your nose, arms backwards, out through your mouth, arms forwards. Excellent job today. And a special thank you to our inspiration, our friends at the Niroga Institute who visited our teachers.